so guys, I'm Kyra back again with another video. I didn't know y'all missed me. I know it's been a long time. But yeah, girl, is thank y'all for still subscribing even though I was missing. Thank you guys for still being here and supportive. I really, really appreciate it. I just want to say thank you all so much. And I know it's been a while, but I'm back. And I'm, I apologize. I am actually sorry. From the one of my heart, I am sorry. So today is Monday and I start to be correct. So we're gonna start with a little motivation. Now that all has been said, let's get into the video. Did y'all see me today? I'm talking about how everybody can't be a friend. I look, I ain't come here to tell you all to cut off with our friends. I ain't coming here to tell you all. Well, can I was say that if you ain't this, um, you gonna get cut off. So I cutting you off because can I was say. Mm -mm. I just tell you now what I think a friend is. Red flags for people who ain't your friend. That's my advice. Motivation on Mondays, I just give y'all a little motivation that I think could come in handy. Don't go and say that I say. Mm -mm. Cause I ain't say. I say, but don't go and say that I say. Good. So let me see where to start. No, everybody may got a different definition of a friend. But it should be centered around the same principle, is worth the same definition. It should be centered around the same thing, right? So my me personally, I believe that a friend is somebody who that I could depend on if I don't know. Some person that's loyal, some person that tell me about Kyara, I like what you do, and you shouldn't do that. My lips trap. I ain't like what you do, you know. So what I can just like keep you on your guard, be envious of you, just like there for you, right? True, that's my definition. But you may got something different and that's fine. But it should be centered around the same thing as I said before. I just hear people say like, like they will meet somebody like for three months ago and they will say, I can't be your friend just yet because I don't know you, right? But they may go a friend now for seven years or something like that. And the friend for seven years don't support them, don't check up on them, don't motivate them, talking about them and that kind of thing. That same person that you don't want to be your friend, so that you know for three months, may come and end up being more loyal to you. someone that you knew for seven plus years. Um, friendships, to me, the, I don't really like the quantity, I just like the quality of the friendships. So I don't like to say, well, I know you for X some of the years, so I can, you can be my friend. I, I can keep you, I can keep watering that plant even though like it's not a good relationship or we don't agree that good and I can feel like bad energy, but I can still hold on on you because like, we got years. Mm -mm. If you gotta go, you gotta go. Don't matter how long I know you, if you gotta go, you gotta go. And you also understand that it's okay to cut off people like you gotta start watering their plants because it died so and then you get out of the day there's nothing coming back from the dead okay you have to get to the stage where too like you are mentally prepared to understand that everybody cannot be your friend you may take well as i said before i know her for so long i know him for so long but um, I, I can't just like give up all those years. I can't just like, let all that go. I know them so, so long and I can't like give that up. Wait. I don't understand why you can't just give that up. How you mean? Them not supporting you. Them not being loyal to you. All does just exist together. Well, you can just cut off that person because you it's not benefiting you, you're not gaining anything from that friendship. So, why is it so hard for you to cut it off if you're not gaining anything? Just to say, well, you got 1300 friends, this is 2020, baby, and it is what it is. It's a gotta go, they gotta go. <laughs> no, I can tell you all some red flags in friendships. Let me let me start with an example. Let's say you start a business and you had this business for like seven years and your friend they never posted your poster, they never 
post nothing they don't like give you potential customers nothing that they must but they don't show you no love and from the time you start your business it just be like a love hate kind of thing not love hate but from the time you started it's just been like a distant bad fight that you're feeling from this person and in your mind you want to get the benefit of the doubt so you're gonna say well got different lives and we just be, and that person just busy and they can't they don't really got time and I understand that which is understandable but to just press post or to just say send me this and then post it don't take a like an hour so if the person is busy yes it's not gonna take away much from their day for them to just re something as simple as reposting your poster or reposting your business page so don't ever give the benefit of the doubt listen to your gut and what you feel the first time is what it is just my opinion you don't gotta listen to me just my opinion another red flag you better start flourishing and like people start to notice you and you like, leveling up to them you leveling up the grass green on your side and you watering your grass and you working hard you painting hours painting over time painting extra time and you working and you leveling up it's your time to shine but your friend on the other hand is not their time and them seeing that you getting through and then from there like the distance or like the vibe all lies to me because like if he's my friend you should not be upset that i get in true you, you understand like if he's my friend you should be happy for me and barely you should be there behind me like rooting and telling me about go kayara i'm so proud of you thank god you get in true no you came from so far and um it's your time now and i'm so happy for you so proud of you that should be the energy that i get in from you as a friend because you say it's my friend so that should be the energy i get in from you not that you trying to take customers from me or that you trying to you talking about the business badly behind my back are you making it seem like it's a bad person are you making the business seem like it's not ain't going anywhere are you just like talking negative about the business to other people that's not a friend if it's my friend like support me a hundred support me a hundred even if like i can't return the favor because you don't got business still support me as a friend you understand because we're friends that's my opinion another red flag is same business thing but before you start now you got this idea in your head and you're telling your friend about this idea and if you go to your friend with gossip or with things that ain't feeding both of y'all that ain't benefiting none of y'all the conversation gonna be spicy and they're gonna want to hear and they're gonna be putting in feedback and everything gonna be fun and dancing but you can't with your business idea now and the conversation is like that's not good or like that so happy for you like dry you get what i mean like uh uh that body your friend they kind of hear you actually thinking of an idea to get through and they don't like to see that they don't like that so that that's why them kind of like just brushing on the carpet so you yourself know because they like forget that you want to do the idea because you don't get the response you was looking for you just let go of that business idea and you don't want to do it anymore because you're afraid i'm not saying that you have to listen to your friend or feel for your friend energy but it does take someone to give you a little mm, like a little push to just get something going and you you may not want to go to like your parents so you may want to your friend and because you didn't get what you're looking for that could kill your vibe that could kill your energy so then you do you don't want to do it anymore because of that that friend stop you from having a multi-million dollar business because of their bad energy and their bad vibes to me so it's just good to listen to your gut and trust the first instinct you get and roll with that y'all just get like shock when friends betray you but you know that betrayal does very often come from the same friends like i don't understand when you jump and be like so <gasps> like oh my gosh i never thought that that person was well, you would never think so when that person know all your business, that person know every plan you, you want to do, that person really know you. Well, you're going to be upset when they betray you if you leak out some information about yourself to that one person. Because you thought that person was your friend. You ignore all the red flags coming down the lane because that was your friend. And don't get me wrong, we've done it. We've all done it. We've all been true like a fake friend or been true somebody that we thought was, you know, going to last a lifetime. Trust me, boo boo. I know you ignore all the red flags and everything because you thought like she would never do that to me. She's my friend. I could put my head on the brick. She would never do that to me. 
that my doll, he would never I should put my head on his bread. He would never let that my killer like we my dolls like we cool. We, we would never he would never do that to me, boy. He would never do that to me. That same person is the, gonna be the first person to betray you. Let's put too much trust in people. Yes, it got people that are gonna write for you. Don't get me wrong, it got people that are gonna write for you. But you just gotta know who it is. And you just gotta take your time and get to learn people first before you can call someone your friend. Don't be quick to call everybody your friend. That just might take away a message. Do not be quick to call everyone your friend. That's the motivation I'm on this. Thank you guys for tuning into my video. And I'm so glad y'all are still here with me. I know it's been like one, two, three, four, five, six. Along. It's been too long. And I just wanna say I'm truly sorry again. And I will try my utmost the best to be more consistent. But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the support thus far. Continue supporting me, continue liking, continue subscribing, continue sharing. I appreciate each and every one. I really love y'all so much. I'll see you guys in my next video.